if I were to think about the Australian films that are the best films I've seen, on it, by any standards, I think I would mention Ten Canoes, I would mention Beneath Clouds, Ivan Sands' film, I would mention Samson and Delilah. Um, why, you know, I mean, why do you think there is such a, such a strength in Aboriginal filmmaking at the moment? Maybe um, doors are open, you know, uh, let's open more doors. You know, it's like the theatre. A lot of people hang onto the theatre door and they can't open it and let the stories in, right? The film industry is opening up. So uh, why don't we celebrate a bit more and get braver, you know? Take the challenge and make some more. I want to get rich. <laughs> <laughs> we all do. Look at this. Poor artists all my life. <laughs> right? You got any decision? <laughs> well, I mean, while we're, while we're contemplating people getting rich, I mean, maybe, Beck, are there any, are there any kind of policy <laughs> issues that have produced this oh, work? Oh, yeah, definitely. Think? Absolutely. Oh, look, it's, it's been largely um, thanks to um, the former AFC, Screen Australia, and the work through the Indigenous branch. You know, that, that work that people like Sally and Erica have done there for all, all those years um, is basically followed filmmakers through from short films, from documentaries to, you know, half-hour films to feature films, if you're lucky. And it's just been this nurturing and also inviting um, really experienced, fantastic filmmakers to come in and and work with um, the younger filmmakers to, you know, to discuss sto elements of storytelling and filmmaking. And so it's been this huge, for not wanting to sound wanky, but a huge sort of nurturing um, family and, and support that's really sort of propelled young filmmakers no, it up go, It goes way. back to, um, to the Indigenous mm. Programs units of things like ABC <coughs> and Absolutely. SBS and, mm -hmm. and people who were there in the 70s and, you know, the, the Black Playwrights Conferences where many of us, I mean I was just a little green thing that kind of hung around in the background there because I didn't know what I wanted to do but it was, oh, peop, you know, Blackfellas are going to be there so I'll go along and yeah. you'd watch amazing people, you just, you know, be, having the chance to sit and watch someone like Audrey Nunuckle or Jack Davis or Jimmy Chai workshopping plays and those connections that came out of those things watching and running into people 20 years later, 25 years later, and it's like, wasn't that fantastic? Weren't we lucky? Weren't we lucky to be there and have the support of those yeah. people who mm -hmm. went before us as well? Mm -hmm. yeah, and sometimes, and we, sometimes we get locked up with all these, um, the, the, these, these, what do you call it, government thing, you know, the, 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 the bureaucratic and all that yeah. sort of stuff? Yeah, yeah. The, the policies need to be changed in, in, in a lot mm -hmm. of things. Once I had the government saying, you lot got to work together, and the policy makers are saying, well, you've got to be black fella to write your own thing. Mm -hmm. And it's sometimes like, oh, hang on, I need that white fella to write with me. Mm -hmm. You know, we need each other to, because he's got the tool of writing. Mm -hmm. I haven't yet, you know. I'm still getting, turning on my computer, so I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. But it, it, it's like there's a technical thing that when you write film scripts, right, mm -hmm. you, you need people who know how to do it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to make boring films, honestly, and I've never done one yet. <laughs> you know, it's like I really want to make good stuff and I don't want to held up by bureaucracies all the time. You know, it's too much. Sorry, it's that real, you know? I think this, the second half of the answer to your question, why these Indigenous... is simply that Indigenous people have got more to say in, 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 in a social sense. Um, look, you know, Art is, is very much a function of a culture at a particular time. Uh, and so, you know, we can't write Beethoven these days. Only Beethoven could write it then. Well, you know, in, in, in Australian uh, Western culture, it's, 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 it's a sort of an odd, stale time. Uh, we have it comfortable. We don't have a lot left to say. Whereas Indigenous people have got so much left to say, uh, and they're saying it. It's a great thing. Yeah, I mean, interesting art responds to interesting questions. Yes, and yes. This is where the interesting questions are. Yeah. I mean, maybe, Beck, do you, do you see any kind of commonalities in, in Aboriginal filmmaking? I mean, is there, are there kind of like ways of telling stories, ways of relating to landscape or anything like that that oh, you see as important? I think, I think Indigenous filmmaking has, if you look at it as a big body of work, I think what I really love about it is that 
filmmakers seem to give their stories space and and allow the story to tell itself in a in a visual way, you know. And I think also um, there's there's often the similar themes sort of pop up, like um, coming home, relation. This 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 sort of new round seems to be prison and freedom and so often filmmakers seem to be sort of not telling the same stories but thematically touching on the same sort of subject matter which is yeah interesting just how that has happened um yeah can i answer something um can we stop you <laughs> of course we can't come on then <laughs> <laughs> What you've given us is a tool to hang on to our culture. You brought us in to in enjoy the dynamics and, and experiences of exploring our stories. One in animation. Check out Dust Echoes and on ABC Online. You will see that I went to my elders, got the stories, sent it here to Adelaide, to Luke, and, and Luke and I went into the studios and, and we're giving it the stories to the best animators around the country. And they'd ring you out and say, Tom, did you have a look at my animation on that story, la la la, they're all having a competition. It was great. Now we've captured all those stories from my sister, yeah? Mm. That's a form of, um, uh, it's really great. Thank you for that sort of stuff, you know? Because we can capture those things. Rolf, he, he's talking about Ramangini. I just come back from Ramangini. There's family there who, who are dancing their stories in a modern way, mm. you know? They're including the families in. And, and I have a video here somewhere. I, I have to bring all of those family to my festival called Walking with Spirits. So there's communications, there's film levels, there's issues we're doing um, in the community. Um, ads for domestic violence, we're putting it into the uh, telephones. So that they can, if you've got a problem, do, 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 ring somebody, yeah? And it's a magic tomb to, to, to give to us. What I've learned from you, we take back to the community. And the, the young women, and the uh, and, uh, uh, young boys, you've got to forget about all the other technical schooling <coughs> stuff. These kids learn with eyes, so they're very sharp. I won video clips in Canada, at the uh, Imaginative. I have a trophy at home from Canada for making video clips from songs that we do. So everything we do in exchange, let's love that word, exchange. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Everything we do in exchange, multiplies what we've got and we save what we're losing because there are songs evaporating. Imagine if you close your eyes right now and you go to your church and there's no hymn sung in your church anymore. That's what it's like when I lose my song lines. That's what it's like when I lose the songs. So you've given me an implement that I can capture and hang on to. Get my uncle, my eldest. I like to take your elders, you know, even back to your own country, right? And you will tell me traditional stories and show me the landmarks of traditional places. That's what we do with our elders. Put them in the four-wheel drive, give the kids the camera, get them out of trouble. And we've got all the song lines recorded at home. And, uh, and that's the beauty of this industry. Yeah? It, it, it actually has... If you talk about working together, look at the history of Australian films. Look at it closely. Yeah, I, I had sat next to all that Deborah, and he says, uh, "Me and Kamal painted each other next to oh, old yeah, nose peg." Yeah, old nose peg. What a hero! He's a silent hero, that man. You know, he's been in black and white films and mm. color films. Mm. Yeah, and we don't celebrate that man. <laughs> Yet he's been a hero. You know, you, you always talk about uh, Kumije Namajira, but you know that that man is like one of the leading. Australian actors that have taken himself out of the desert and into this white fellow world. And then came Jetta with all the families coming from Darwin, living in the back of the caravan park. And these are stories I've learned from my people, my uncles and aunties who were extras in these films. So what you've given us is a, a thing that really makes us very, very strong. And, and, and what else can you give us? So thank you, you know. <laughs> okay, that seems like a good point at which for us to uh, to open this up yeah. to questions.